Hey, Barbecue U fans, how are you? It's JoJo from 92.3 to Fox, Double Trouble in the Morning. Mine is Victor Cruz because he's on vacation, but you know what? It's all good because the Barbecue U continues, and this week we are live on the east side of town. We are at La Terraza Mexican Food Restaurant right on the east side. You can't miss out. Treywood, Montwood, best food in town, and we're going to talk to the guys here what we're going to do today for the tip of the week. We got Patrick Candelari right behind me. As you can see, Patrick is filling it. What are you here for? Because uh, the only thing better than a free lunch is a free <laughs> lunch from La Terraza featuring Quintero's Meats. That, that's a very, very good answer. And Mike, Sarge, Sarge Preston is here. What are you, is he the white, the token white guy or what? Well, you know, I, I like to help you guys out however I can, and I'm with him. You know, if it's free, it's for me. You know? <laughs> there you go. And then we got Mr. Modest, Frank Modest here uh, from La Terraza, owner, proprietor, to the main guy himself. And, uh, sir, thank you so much for inviting us out. Well, thank you, and uh, welcome to La Terraza. Absolutely. And just so you know, we brought Sarge so you can do some washing on your dishes and all that. He's pretty good at that. <laughs> okay, is he going to be staying all day today? or If you like, however you like. That sounds good. We got plenty of dishes in the back. <laughs> <laughs> oh, no. Right. And the Garcia brothers, we got Danny Garcia. How you doing? And we got uh, Javier Garcia. Nice to see you guys again. Now, guys, what is the meat of the week for today? We brought in uh, cube steaks. Cube steaks. Cube steaks. Really? Cube, cube steaks. That's something we haven't talked about. A lot of people don't even know about, huh? No, it's uh, it's something that uh, only Terrazzo uses for their, for their, I guess their, some of their main ingredients is chili con queso steak. And we would like to, for the people to try it out there so that they can see how tender it is and everything. All right. Well, let's go ahead and go inside and check it out. Frank, I'd love to see your kitchen, see how we prepare the chili con queso steak. That's right. Chili con queso steak. That'll be number 11 in our, in our menu. Awesome. Well, okay. let's go inside, guys. Let's check it out. All right. This is a beautiful place. Wow. What a nice restaurant. Look at that. Oh, our tables are over here. Tables over here, guys. All right. All right. We're inside La Terraza Mexican Food Restaurant here on the east side of town. Treywood and Monwood can't miss out. This week's meat of the week is the cube steak. Now, Javier, where does the cube steak come from and as far as the cow goes? Well, uh, we use the top round. Uh, we take off all the fat. Uh, we cut them into uh, portions. The specifications with about an eight ounce pan, uh, eight ounce. We run it to the tenderizer, we put it on green paper, we ship it out here in a refrigerated truck, and he gets it out here and he fixes up his uh, chili con queso steaks. Uh, wow, it's a, a chili con queso that Frank, let me ask you the question on the chili con queso steak. When you guys prepare it, does that, uh, how, does, how does that all begin? Okay, we get, the, uh, we get our cube steak from uh, Quintero's Meat Company. As soon as we do, and we have one of our customers order the uh, chili con queso steak, what we do is we, we get the cube steak, we, we uh, spice it up, we put it on the grill, and then the, uh, the, uh, the secret ingredient or the, the best ingredient of all is the chile con queso. Our chile, our chile con queso is uh, aged cheese. It's uh, aged uh, longer than, uh, no, no less than 90 days. And, then, and that's mixed up with, uh, with, uh, with uh, long green chili from New Mexico. All right, so let's go inside the kitchen right now and find out how this chile con queso steak is prepared here at La Terraza Mexican Restaurant. All right, Barbecue U fans, we are live inside the kitchen at La Terraza restaurant, uh, Mexican restaurant. We got Frank and we got Chef Gus Rocha in the house. Gus, thanks for uh, inviting us into your kitchen, bud. Thank you for having us. Uh, so we're here to see the chile con queso steak, how that's prepared and how that's made. If you will, uh, talk to us a little bit about the meat and how you prep it. Uh, we'll go ahead. We're going to go start with the meat. We're going to tenderize a little bit. I've never heard of the, of the cubed steak like this. It's pretty popular here, huh? Yes, sir. It actually comes out very often. It's really good steak, and everybody likes it. Pretty much. Absolutely. And this is tenderizing the steak right there, right? Yes, sir. All right. Stack it on the grill. Give it a little seasoning, and we'll go ahead and get our started with our uh, cheese. All right. Go ahead and prepare the cheese here. Next, thing we're going to go ahead with the New Mexico uh, roasted chilies. Nice. Straight from New Mexico, baby. Yes, sir. All right, Gus, and how long do we prepare the meat for? How, do we, how long do we cook that? Like medium. Don't want to dry it up too much. Give it a little juice to it. Juice to it, okay. And then the cheese and the chile, how long do you uh, cook that for? Uh, about a minute and a half. Minute, really? That real quick. quick. Yeah. There you go. As he flames it up. Go ahead and uh, get a plate. Get some good beans on there. Top it off with a little cheese. Run it through the oven. Is the same Wisconsin cheese? Yes, sir. Okay. Runs it in the oven just like we uh, we've learned before. A lot of the restaurants like to run them through the oven. Usually, when they go through the oven, they're once it comes out of the oven, everything should be ready to rock and roll. It goes straight to the table. 
Is that right, Gus? Yes, sir. Should all be timed pretty much. for it all to be hot. All come out together. Nice. The cheese is melting really nice. The steak looks like it's about done, huh? Yes, sir. And Gus, how long have you been uh, have you been in the kitchen? I've been here two years. Two years, nice, very nice. Frank treats you well. Yes, sir. He takes care of us. Oh, uh, so there you go, Frank. You're a good boss. I, I try to. <laughs> you now this looks incredible, Frank. I got to tell you, the chili con queso melting the way it looks. It does, and that's what we want, and that's that part of the reason why is the cheese. It has to be aged properly, uh, and with the New Mexico chili, man, it tastes really good. And, and who, really good seller. who came up with the concept and that idea of that plate? Well, you know what? La Terraza is part of Leo's. Uh, so they've been doing this since 1946. So the original owners, I mean, you know, Willie Terraza Sr. and Leo Collins and all of them are the actual, the, the ones that put all the menus together. And this is one of the the uh, the, the menu that, uh, that's that been one of the original ones from back then. So it's we've been using cube steak forever for the number 11, which we also have it in chicken, but you know, uh, the, the best seller is the, 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 the beef, yes sir. Excellent, all right, and now as you can see here, Chef Gas Rocha is pouring the chile con queso right on top. Oh man, that looks spectacular. Gus, that looks really good. And what else do you do to the plate, that's it? Wow, look at that plate. That is the number 11 here at La Terraza Mexican restaurant, located on the east side. Uh, I want you to meet our two newest uh, dishwashers. Hey, that's Sergeant Patrick Kendall, are you? Hey. Yeah, yeah, come on for free lunch, you said, right? Free lunch. I, got to go I don't care anything for those chili con queso steaks, man. I'll tell you. I'm doing any work. I'm taking yours. Hey, no, no, no it's my equal, equal, equal work, equal pay, buddy. All right, now the final outcome, my friends. This is the chile con queso steak number 11 on the menu here at La Terraza Mexican Restaurant. The cubed steak, and you guys gonna have that on special this week? Yes, we are. We're gonna have it on special for $4.59 a pound. Wow. This, this week. That's a great deal, and it's a beautiful looking steak, man. It's uh, nice looking. It's real tender. You won't have any problems with it. Uh, I mean, what, what can we say? Look at the way it's fixed. Yeah, exactly. Any 4th of July specials as well? Yes, we're gonna have uh, hamburger patties on sale this week. We're gonna have uh, hot dogs on sale this week. Uh, also, chuck steaks. Uh, stay tuned for the prices and we'll give them to you. Cool. And what number can people call? Uh, they can call us at 351-2471. As for the girls there, or myself, Danny, Jerry, or Tony. There you go. And remember, it's 4413 Durazno. You can't miss out with Alfred Reynolds. And uh, you guys are, are there pretty much all week long. It's 4th of July week, and why not get yourself some cube steak from Quintero's Meat Company. Now, look behind me. See these big doors right behind me? That, ladies and gentlemen, is the official home of the Dallas Cowboy Fan Club every Saturday or Sunday night, I should say, huh? Every Sunday, we're gonna be to, we're gonna be getting together with Frank. We're having the f fan club here, and the, he's gonna have drink specials. We're bringing in the cowboy, or some some cowboys on some of the games. Really, like actual players, alumni, and stuff like that. Actual players on some of the games are gonna be showing up. The, this this part of the restaurant is gonna be set up strictly for the fan club. Wow. So so Frank, I take it you're a, you're a cowboy fan, huh? Definitely. I've Ever since I've been a kid. There you go. That's usually the way the case is in El Paso, right? So there you go. That's it from La Terraza Mexican Restaurant. George Dieter and Ma would come on down and say hi. Remember, the cube steak is on sale at, at uh, 4413 Durazo, Quintero's Meat Company. Or order the number 11, the Chile con Queso Steak here at La Terraza. George Dieter and Ma would see ya. Hey, thanks, guys. Appreciate that.